Hey friends, it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today we're going to be making a money diploma and box. If you know someone who's graduating soon, this is the perfect graduation gift because who doesn't like money? Now just a quick disclaimer, I am using fake bills in this video. You can use real bills, but I'm using fake ones because I didn't have $100 bills lying around. Um, this one says motion picture use only, which I found on Amazon and I thought was really cool. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description if you are interested in buying some fake bills not to use but to craft with or do magic tricks with and to make gag gifts with but before we jump in if you are new to my channel be sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell right next to it to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out i post new videos all year round and wouldn't want you to miss it and without further ado let's jump right in to make the money diploma in a box, you're going to need three bills. So you can use real bills or you can use fake bills like I am. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. You'll also need a ribbon or a string. I'm just using red embroidery thread because I like the way that it looks against a bill. And so let's start with the first one. We're going to take the first bill and fold it in half. Crease that in. And then unfold. Now let's take the bottom and align it to the center crease that you just made. So fold it straight up and crease it in. Rotate and repeat the same thing at this side. So we're going to fold it straight up to the center and crease it in. And now we're going to fold our bill into thirds. Now you can use a ruler to fold it into thirds or you can use this trick that I love. So you're going to take this right side fold it over to the left side and kind of just gauge, um, you know, make sure that this side is equal to this side and kind of just gauge with your eyeball a little bit and then fold it down. Doesn't really have to be exact. And then fold the left flap over. And if this side meets this side, you know that it is folded into thirds. Now let's unfold and rotate the bill on its side. We're going to open up the right and left sides a little bit and then we're going to push this side, so the top side, up. We're going to angle it up so that it points towards the ceiling and then we're going to flatten with our thumb. So we're going to flatten here and here. I'm going to move my thumb out of the way in a second so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just pushing. So now it looks like this and from the side it looks like that. So now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to take the top and fold it up. And then we're going to flatten. Just like that. We're just going to stick our thumb in there and flatten that. So that looks like this from the top and like this from the side. Just give a little pinch right here and right here to create that box shape. Do the same thing on this side. Give a pinch on the side to make it into a box and a pinch over here. So now let's lay it flat on a table and we want to take this side and then fold it straight down like that. Just slip it in there and flatten. You may want to stick your finger and just crease that in. And now take this and fold it down as well. So fold it straight down, stick your thumb in there, and flatten. And that is how you make a box. So now that we have the box all done, we're going to take a second bill, and now we're just going to lay the part where it says 100, and we're going to lay it right over here. And we want to gauge how wide the box is, or how long the box is. So I'm going to Give a little pinch crease here, a little pinch crease there. So now I know how long the box is. And I'm going to fold this bill down. Like this down and back. So here's how it looks like in the back. And now let's do the same thing on this side. So we're going to fold it back at where our pinch mark was. Turn it around if that helps. Crease that in. So it looks like this. So now let's flip it around again. Align our 100 next to the box like this. 
And now we're going to gauge where the box ends. So right about here, we're going to make a fold. Fold it over to the left. And then unfold. And now we're going to take this and wrap it around again. Give a little pinch. Remove the box. And then reinforce that crease. So now we have two folds. It looks like this. And now we're just going to bring it over again. So for this one, you can sort of just eyeball it. You don't even need the box anymore unless you want to. So let's put the box right here again. We're going to wrap it around like that. Make sure it's a little bigger than the box itself. You don't want it to be too tight. So once you have the length, you're going to mark the spot. And then fold it down to crease it in. So now it looks like this from the side. And then again, you can put the box in and wrap it around. Find a point where it ends and crease that in. Remove the box and then reinforce that crease. So now from the top, it looks like this. Now you see how this is longer than the actual box? What you want to do is fold it back. So I'm going to fold it back right about here. Just give a little space like that. And then I'm going to reinforce that crease the other way. Crease it in. And I'm going to take this and slip it in between these two flaps here. So slip it in like this. It should slide right and easily. So that is how you make the cover of the box. And here's the box. So now let's put these aside and work on our diploma. So you take your bill and fold it in half. I like to have the face facing the outside because it's more colorful on this side. The other side is just kind of green. And now you're just going to rotate it on its side and roll it up like a fruit roll up and just roll it up until the very end. Once you reach the very end, you're going to take your embroidery thread or your string and tie a little bow. So now that your diploma is done, you're going to assemble everything together. So we have our box and we have our lid. You're going to place the diploma inside the box like this. Slip the box inside the lid and say goodbye and seal it shut. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking around until the very end of the video. If you know someone who's graduating, be sure you make this gift for them because who doesn't like cash, right? Again, if you're interested in buying some fake bills off Amazon, be sure you check out that Amazon link down in the video description below. Leave a comment letting me know who you will make this gift for and I'll see you next time. Bye!